Hello everyone, welcome to Productivity Central. Today I will be showing you how you can build this beautiful login screen which looks clean and minimalistic. And I will show you how you can add username, password and the login button. In my last video, I showed you how to build this beautiful cloud inventory management app. And today I will be showing you how you can add a login button directly to this application. You can do this in two simple ways, depending upon what kind of a backend you're using. If you're using SharePoint, we can use SharePoint for this. If you're using Excel, I will also show you a way how you can do this with Excel as well. I create videos based on the feedback of my subscribers. So if you have any questions, if you have any feedback, please do mention in the comments. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, please do mention in the comments. All right, let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is let's minimize all the screens of our old app. And when you are in the Power App Studio on the top, just click on new screen and click on blank. Let's name it login. And now we will move this screen to the top and just click on these three dots and click on move up. All right. So now we have our login screen. So now let's start adding the elements. All we need to do is basically add two text inputs. So over here, click on the insert button on the top and click on input and just add two text input buttons. This is the first one. Let's add one more. This is the second one. Perfect. And these would be for our username and password. And let's add two labels. All right, now let's bring them over here. And the next thing that we need to do is we need to add an image. So in order to add an image, just go to the media option over here on the left hand side and just click on upload and add your image. Oh, by the way, uh, in my last video, one of my subscribers asked me regarding the icons that I used inside the application, these icons, uh, he wanted to know from where did I find these icons? Uh, I use Canva for that. Canva is an amazing tool to have. It has so many functions which are so helpful. If you want to remove a background from an image, you can do that. And there are so many things which are freely available on Canva. Uh, you can try out their free account uh, and uh, check it out. Uh, I'll put the link in the description below. All right, uh, let's continue with our app. Once we have uploaded the image, we're gonna click on it. And this is the image. So now I'm going to resize it. All right. So once the image has been resized, so now what we'll do is we'll work on this text. So over here on the right hand side under the text, we will remove that and we will put it welcome and we will increase the font size to 45 and we will make it bold and we will align it in the middle. So this would be 45, perfect. And in the next text box, what are we gonna do is we're gonna put in a text where we are welcoming the user and we are asking them to sign in to continue. Okay, perfect. Now we will align it in the middle and we will decrease the font size to 15. In the next step, let's work on this text input box so the first thing that we are going to do is remove the text input and under the hint text over here on the right hand side, we will put username. Perfect. So now this is visible to every user who comes to this page. So in the same way, we're going to do this for the next box. We're going to remove this text and under the hint text, we will put this as password. And uh, there is one thing that we need to do for the password. What we want to do is when someone types the password, we don't want the password to be visible. So we will change that. So for that, under mode, just select password. So now when the user types it, it will be uh, hidden uh, and it will not be visible. And the next thing that we are gonna do is we will decrease the density of the borders so that it looks a little clean. So we will select the first box and on the bottom, 
under the border radius we will change this to 25 and we will also change the border color from blue and we will change it to green so that it matches with our background image so over here on the right hand side just select the color that you want so now it's green and now we have a nice border radius we will perform the same step for this one as well so first let's increase the border radius and let's change the border color in my case I'm changing it to green perfect so in the next step what we're going to do is we will bring a button over here which says login so in order to do that on the top left hand side under insert select button and bring it over here align it in the middle the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to change the color so just select this button and change the color from blue in my case I'm going to change it to green and under the text on the left hand on sorry on the right hand side remove button and we will type in login perfect so now our home screen our welcome screen is ready now what we need to do is we need to apply some logic to this login button whenever the user enters the username and password clicks on login now we want them to navigate to the correct page if they are an authorized user if they are not we want them to be uh, go to a separate page where they see a specific message all right in the next step what we're going to do is we're going to add a new screen let's add a success screen so this is screen number seven all right in the next step what we're going to do is we're going to connect the back end to this and we will create a list in SharePoint. So go to your SharePoint website, click on new, click on list, click on blank list, and you can name it. In my case, I'm, I'm naming it as admin. So I will name it as admin homepage and I will click on create. So now we already have one column over here, which is title and let's add another column. So click on add column and click on single line of text and I'm going to name it as password and I will click on save. So basically what we are doing is we are connecting our power app to this specific list and in this you will have your authorized users. So in my case, I will add a new entry. So under the username, which is our title, I'll put it user 100 and under the password I'm just gonna type 456090 and I'm gonna save it in the same way I'm gonna add another entry this would be user 200 and the password would be 123090 and I'm gonna click on save so now we have two authorized users whom we have given permission and they are available in our SharePoint list. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our Power Apps and we will connect the database. So on the left hand side, click on data, click on add data and just under select a data source type SharePoint and once SharePoint is selected, click on it. And on the right hand side, you will see the sites. So select the one that you want. And in my case, it is admin homepage. So I will click on connect. Now let's start working on the button. So click on the button and let's remove false on the on select property. And over here, enter this specific statement. So over here, we are using the lookup and we are looking up the data source, which is our admin homepage. What we are looking is under the title. If this text input one is the same and under the password, this 
text input 2 is the same and then we are if that's correct then we are navigating them to home page if that's not correct we are navigating them to screen number 7 and over here I have added two more uh, statements so we will be resetting these two fields automatically once a user clicks on login so now let's test it so let's click on play so under the username let's type a user who is not authorized so let's type anything and uh, click on login so it will take us to this screen and we will be editing this screen as well so it has worked perfectly fine now let's test it for an authorized user so let's play it one more time and if we go back to our SharePoint list let's try the first user so the uh, username is user 100 and the password is this so under the username it's user 100 and under the password it's 456090 and let's click on login perfect there you go so now we have our uh, navigation set so now let's customize our screen number seven and we will select this specific box and we will remove this text and we will put forgot password please contact admin over here on the left hand side click on the icon circle and let's change this color to green and over here guys you can even change this icon from a check mark you can choose an icon like cancel so what we're going to do is over here on the left hand side under the icon check one we will click on these three dots we will click on delete and we will bring in this X over here and let's change the color to white and let's also put a back button over here so we're gonna go back to our screen number one that we already built and we're gonna just gonna copy this back button the screen number seven and we will paste by control V we will just paste it over here and we will change the color of this icon right now so we will set it to green so this is the back button now if you are watching this video for the first time all you can do is just click on icons and over here you can find the left button over here and bring it right over here and once you have done that just put this specific statement navigate what we're going to do is we're going to navigate to the login screen because this is not an authorized user and we will select login over here okay perfect so now let's head back to our main screen now let's test it so let's click on the preview the app so now let's enter an incorrect username and password and let's click on login perfect so it's taking us to a page where it's giving them a message which says forgot password please contact admin and when we click on the back they head back again to the login screen and the username and password is already reset now let's test the authorized user so in our case it was user 200 and let's check back the password so 123090 so let's enter the password 123090 let's click on login perfect so now we are in our main home page so this is a great way to have a login screen where you don't want uh, some specific users to not have access to specific screens let's say you only want them to access the dashboard screen so you can just route them from the login screen instead of screen number seven you can just route them to the dashboard screen so it's completely up to you so um, hope you guys found this video helpful now if you are an excel user who has excel as a backend you would have to create an excel sheet in the same way we created a sharepoint list so in onedrive create an excel sheet and which has 
two columns username and password so I, I'm gonna quickly create username and password let's type user one zero and under the password let's type one two three four five so after creating these two columns just make sure it's created as a table so just highlight the data go to insert click on table and select my table as headers click on ok okay perfect so now our table is ready all we need to do is connect this table to our power app first head back to the login screen and under add data just add one drive After you have selected the OneDrive, on the right hand side, select the folder from your OneDrive and select the table that we just created, which was book. And this was the table, the table one inside the book and click on connect. After you have connected the OneDrive and the table one, click on the button and put in this specific statement. So what we are doing is we are using the if else, if text input one in the table one, dot username and this text input two in the table one which is our excel table in the password section if that's correct then navigate to our home screen if that's not correct then navigate to screen seven it's a very simple if statement and that's all we need to do once we have done that let's click on play and as we know, under the Excel, we just created one user, user 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So let's test it. So we're going to type user 10. Let's type the password, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's click on login. Okay, perfect. So now we are on the home screen. Now let's go back and enter an incorrect username and password. So under username, let's type incorrect username and password. And let's try to log in and it will take us to forgot password screen. Perfect, so it's working fine. If you like the video, hit the like button and the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell notifications icon for instant notifications as I post these kind of helpful videos every week and I also take the feedback from my subscribers on a weekly basis. So please do vote as to which video you would like to see in the next one. All right, thank you so much for watching. Let me know which power apps you are building in the comment section. Have a great day guys.